Hi there Janos and welcome back to another episode of Janos on Tour. It is the 12th of April 2024 and three days after the last home game we are back for Friday night football. Plymouth Argyle versus Leicester City in the Championship. Doesn't get any trickier than this in my opinion. So we come off the uh, back of the 1-1 draw um, with QPR which in the end turned out to be a pretty okay point with the fact that uh, the likes of Stoke and Huddersfield and Blackburn and Birmingham, they all lost um, games the other day. So that was really good for us. Um, Leicester City actually did lose to Millwall the other day, which wasn't great for us in terms of Millwall losing, um, but it shows that tonight's opposition can be beaten. They are not on the best form um, as it stands, especially away from home. Although you just got to look at their wage bill, you know, it's around 60 million compared to our 6 million. It's going to be an uphill task tonight with the likes of players like Ian Acho and Winks. And um, they've got, you know, ex-Premier League players like Mark Albrighton, uh, Jamie Vardy. You know, they've got bags of talent and they are going to want to react to Millwall. I don't really think it's a good thing, to be honest, that they lost to Millwall because they're going to be even more determined not to lose tonight and to beat us. So it will be tough. But, you know, full house again. The crowd fully behind Argyle. Deuce came out today and said... This isn't a free hit of a game, in his opinion. It's a game that we have to try and go and win, which is great to hear. Obviously, we're going to have to be a bit cautious. We're going to have to be strong defensively, probably try and get them on the counter-attack. But if we could get anything tonight, that would be brilliant in our, um, in our you know, um, survival uh, race. Because, um, you know, obviously we play tonight and it puts pressure on teams tomorrow um, in the table. So it's going to be hard, but, um, you know, I'm not too sure I would take a draw right now. It's hard to predict, really. I mean, I would maybe, you know, if I'm if I'm talking from my heart, I would could say maybe a two-two draw. If my head's talking, though, you know, realistically, it could be you know three three nil to Leicester, or anything like that. But who knows? It's too tough to call. I'm not really going in with a huge amount of expectation tonight, but we're still going to get behind the lads and hopefully, you know, something can happen. So I'm going to head up now. It's quite a nice evening in Plymouth. I it's two home games in a row now where it's been nice and dry, so that's good. I'm going to head up now and meet Rich, and I'm going to be sat with Sean again in Block 9, so hopefully you can get some good highlights for the vlog. So guys, keep um, liking, subscribing. Thank you for uh, over 100 on TikTok now, so that's brilliant, and a few more subs on YouTube as well. So keep it coming. Um, obviously, we've only got a few games left, and it's the summer, but obviously we'll be back next season, hopefully in the championship. So guys, we'll see you up Home Park. Let's hope we can put on a show for in front of the Sky cameras and... Uh, Eat those foxes. Come on the greens. Right, we're outside with Rich. How you doing, Rich? Bit yeah. nicer today, bit quieter for you. Bit tired, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so Rich, massive game today. Obviously, the draw the other night wasn't a bad result in the end, considering all the other teams lost. Yeah, not that massive for Yeah, us. Millwall did lose to Leicester, I just mentioned in the vlog earlier on, so they are beatable. They are Leicester are beatable if we bear our best. That's it, that's it. So what are you sort of predicting tonight then? Surprisingly, I'm feeling dumbed tonight. Yeah? I reckon we did get a point, 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one. you go 4-1. I went yeah. for 2-2, two, two, I think. 2-2, two, two, two. So, yeah. so they're they've always got a lot of danger men, haven't they, in Atro, etc. But hopefully we'll get the win. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Come on the greens then. Team Army. Okay, we're with regular Liam. How are you doing, Liam? All good? All good, mate, yeah. So obviously we spoke before QPI the other night. Obviously you ended up a 1-1 one, one draw. What was your sort of thoughts on that one? Um, missed chances for us again. I think we could have won 1-0 up. Yeah. 1-0 up. QPR kind of got a scrappy goal, same as the Bristol goal, really. Yeah. Um, Cooper couldn't really done much about it. He made he tried. Good save. It was man of the match for me. Yeah. 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 Kept us in it. Um, we got our goal against QPR, which was much needed. I think if we lost that, we'd be in a big super trouble. Big trouble. Yeah. Obviously, um, results went uh, our way, didn't they? Which yeah, was good. good. Um, on to tonight, though. Obviously, Leicester lost to Millwall the other day. Do you think that's maybe a bad thing? Do you think they're going to want to react to that loss, or do you think that's a good thing for us? It could be a bad thing or a good thing, really. I yeah. Mean, they want. They really want to win just to get promotion. Yeah. To edge them closer, but. I mean, it's after taking tonight. I mean, if we're on our A game, we, yeah. get, we get a goal ahead, crowd, crowd behind us. Make them uncomfortable, yeah. You know, yeah. You know what can happen. I think if Leicester get the first goal early on, it's, it's going to be, be tough. Hiding. Yeah, that's the thing. I think tonight will either be that or it'll be a positive result for us. Who knows? But mm. you look at their lineup and it's a bit scary, isn't it? It's very scary, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And then obviously, Liam, you're going to be off to Stoke next week, so that's going to be a good one to look yeah. forward to. That's the one we really don't want to lose. No, absolutely yeah. not. I mean,. No. We're taking four coaches yeah. to uh, Stoke. We've almost sold it out. Low, yeah. Lower still to go. Yeah. 2,600 capacity. That'll be really good from us. See how we get on up, up there. Yeah. That'll I be think, good. I think we'll get a draw tonight. It'll be nice to get a draw. So you nice got, what are you going for then? Score draw? Uh, score draw, 1-1, one, one, yeah. 1-1. One, one. Uh, who have I got to score? Kieran Dish, we all got to score. Yeah? Yeah. That'll be good. 
Right, Liam, thanks for coming on. No we'll see you next time. Cheers. Right then, we're with Sean Beams fan at the man himself. How you doing, Sean? Yeah, I'm doing okay. How are you feeling about the game tonight? Leicester City, huge game for us. Hopefully a draw. Yeah. I reckon we'll get flashed. Yeah, not very confident then, no? They've got a good lineup, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, ex Premier League side, obviously. So, what's your head telling you then, your, re your realistic score? I'm hope my head's gone for a win. But my heart's gonna go for one more. Yeah, alright, fair enough. Well, we'll take a draw with me, but yeah, we, we do need to try and get something if possible. Put pressure on the other teams uh, playing tomorrow. Alright, Sean, thanks a lot. We're gonna be in block nine together tonight, so uh, hopefully, it gets a good action. Come to Greens. Green
half time and unbelievable. Not what I was expecting at all. Plymouth Argyle won, Leicester City nil. What a half of football, Sean. Massive. Massive. I mean, they did pepper us, to be fair, like some cracking players, Drew, Drewsby Hall, etc. But what a counter-attacking goal. For sure made it. Bundu in bottom right corner. Fantastic. Home park abrupted. It's been tough holding on to it, but we defended well, I thought, resolutely. It's going to take an awful lot to, for the result to stay like this. Leicester are going to want to come back at us hard, but if we can uh, hold on to this, Sean, that's a big Massive. way to safety, isn't it? Massive. Who's been your standout player so far for us? Randall. Randall, yeah, Randall's done well. He's dug in deep. Um, yeah, we just had to be solid, really. Obviously, we've not had much of the ball. It has been mostly Leicester, but we took the chance when we, when we had it, and that's what we needed to do. So... Hopefully in the second half we can continue it and, um, and push on. Sad to see Miller go off injured. Wasn't looking too good, so um, we'll have to wait and see on that one. But yeah, brilliant so far and if we keep it up, it's going to be a long, long way um, to go, but it'll go a long way Hopefully to staying up. Hopefully get another one. Another goal would be, would be huge, but as I say, we would have taken a draw at the end of the night, but the longer this goes on 1-0, you know, the more we're going to believe and the more we're going to want those three points. So. We'll see you for the second half. Come and agree. Green
the ball goal one, Leicester City nil, massive, yes! straight out from the ground. What an absolutely epic night that was, boys. Yeah, wow. unbelievable. I didn't expect us to win it. I thought we would have drew it. Um, yeah. The draw would have been even, um, mm. the draw would have been brilliant, but a win is yeah. absolutely unbelievable. We were just saying at the end, like we just made Leicester panic. They were like pumping yeah. balls. They didn't look like a team that were worthy of champions at the end, did they? Yeah, they, they looked like a lower end championship team, rushing the ball at field, over the top through balls. They, yeah. they just rushed it and it just didn't go to plan for yeah. them. Yeah, I mean, we had one chance and we scored it. Yeah, so. and it was such a brilliant counter, wasn't it? For sure, yeah. made that goal and yeah. Bundu yeah. with an amazing finish. Yeah. Bun great finish from Bundu. Yeah. Uh, my ball's yeah. just gone. <laughs> he, he needed that. Um, the com he needed that confidence. He did. That was a brilliant goal. And finally, lads, to end it, where do you think that leaves us now? What do you think we need now to stay up? Do you think that's it or do you think we need a bit more? I think either a point or a win would definitely do it. I think. I think, yeah. I think a win seals it. I think a point yeah. should. The other teams must, around us must be watching that thinking, oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, yeah. boys. Well, what an epic night. What to remember. Come on. <laughs> right, we've got Mackenzie and Freddie on. I bet you boys are really happy. Yeah. yeah. What did you think of the game then? Uh, it was very good. Yeah, yeah, it was very good atmosphere. It was, yeah. 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 We had a lot of 
We did, didn't we? We looked a lot more confident than um, when Foster was in, didn't we? Yeah, and who was the, your man of the match then? Um, for you, who do you think played the best? Um, Randall. He was good, and yeah. Cooper. And Cooper, yeah, and Dan Scar got man of the match as well, apparently. So give us a common your greens, boys. Come on, Green, Green Army! Green Army! Green Army. Hi there guys, we are back in the car, Plymouth Argyle 1, Leicester City 0, that's more like it Rich. Oh, uh, did not that and dead by the bear, everything that won is a massive mat in my eye. It did, oh, lights out again. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what the fight that we showed today was absolutely amazing, like come the end of the game, like we were saying to the guys a minute ago, we reduced Leicester to like panicking, long balls, they had quality, it was obvious to see, they were very, very good on the ball, you can see why their squad's worth, you know, their wage ball 60 million. Oh, it's 60 million. But sometimes that doesn't, you know... In, in one-off games like this, if you can dig in deep, show grit and determination, then, you know, that, that does go a long way. And I predicted this morning that, I you know, I wasn't too confident, but I'm glad to be proven wrong, to be honest, Rich. And for me, that is the biggest result of the season by far and one that the other teams around us are going to be looking at and thinking, oh, we're in trouble now. Definitely. All the team below have been thinking, they're never back to Leicester to run over tonight. No, because I thought that Leicester were going to react, if I'm being honest, and that they would, that it would be a bad time to play them. But yeah. they, they just look a bit jaded and, and lacking confidence, don't they? No, majorly lacking confidence. Leicester, fantastic team. You don't think yeah. it won them. Like but... you went to the away game, obviously. Yeah. yeah. And it, we have more chances than Leicester away from home when yeah. it all went. I mean, the t other teams at the top now, like Ipswich and Leeds and Southampton even, they must be licking their lips now and thinking, these guys are here for the taking. Big so, time. But in terms of our season, though, absolutely fantastic. I haven't seen Home Park bouncing like that for a very long time, probably since Sit we got promoted right last season, um, which was almost a year ago, funnily enough. I think those scenes at the end there with Nance and the Devonport end were absolutely fantastic. Definitely what we were lacking under Foster. And if anyone turns around and says that it um, wasn't Foster that was the reason, well, tonight proves that actually it was Foster that was the, yeah. the downfall of us. Not the bricky seed tonight. I'm a dapper Bruno Joel. What a far for him. Yeah, so, out yeah. there. What a move. 100% rich like the the movement for the uh, from Foreshaw to get the ball away and then such a tidy finish from Bundu that was how we were going to win the game wasn't it stay tight get a cheeky counter attacking and goal not all we needed is one counter that and yeah. to def slow the game down as well go down a little bit I know you know we moaned about teams like Wickham doing it in, in you know the League 1 etc but sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do Two, definitely I, I hope Mick and Miller would tell me Oh, yeah. Mick DeMello be all right after that nasty injury. Let's, hope, off, let's but... hope so. But I don't have a man on the match as such today. I thought every player every bear, yes. was, was amazing. They put in a great shift and they deserve uh, a good week now to before Stoke away, which again, if we can win there, I think that's it then. Yeah. Yeah, huge. Sean, buzzing. Buzzing. Immense. Amazing. Yeah, all the adjectives. Phenomenal. Yeah. Your result of the season? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was big, wasn't it? It was massive. Massive. You're confident now we're going to stay up? 100% Yeah, that's it. And the good thing about winning on a Friday night means you can relax for the rest of the weekend. Well, yeah, and two Friday winning as well. That's it. Maybe we should play on Friday every day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. It's going to be a bit of a longer vlog, but we've got lots of the action. We've got all the reaction at the end as well. Uh, thank you for all the guests that come on tonight as well. And thank you for the support on TikTok. We're over 100 um, followers now. Um, keep it coming, guys. There's only one game left. That is actually me signing out now for the season. And what a way for me to sign out. I'm actually at Stag Do um, for the whole game. But hopefully now uh, I can be on that Stag Do and not have to worry about Argyle and we can be safe. And it'll just be a nice end to the season that <laughs> yeah. you can do, Rich. I hope so, yeah. Yeah, but I would love to get it all done before all, so we just do it and yeah, relax and enjoy it. Yeah, that's right. So, guys, thank you for tuning in to Jana's on tour. What an absolutely fantastic night under the lights at Owen Park it has been tonight. Plymouth Argyle won, Leicester City nil. The Greens are very, very close now to securing their safety in the Championship on the first time back in 13 years. Come, Come on, the Greens! On,